All right, what's up, everybody? I want to introduce Mike Marcus out of Sarasota, Florida. Nope, Boca Raton. Oh, I'm sorry, Boca Raton. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you train with Don from Addicts, yes. right? Okay. And how long have you been training with him for? Uh, about two years now. All right. And he introduced you to swinging the mace. Yep. Okay. And what do you think of it? I love it. It's basically the lazy way of working out. So if you're fat, overweight, it's good to do because it gets you into working out. Okay. Has have you uh, added on to your workouts since then? Like, have you started doing other types of yeah, working out? Yeah, I'm doing CrossFit now, as as also doing mace training wow. and doing uh, core on the floor. Uh, okay. It's basically doing an ab workout, but you're you're on the floor mainly, and you're using addicts weight. Uh, to do the core workout. Is this something that you came up with? Yes. All right. Can you uh, can you um, tell us a little bit more about that? Um, because when you're big and you're overweight and you're trying to get up and everything, uh, it helps you get up off the floor faster. Helps you do car, uh, right. do your abs and everything, uh, without doing the stress and of doing uh, CrossFit. Okay, so yeah, like if you're trying to hit your core, your abs and everything, yeah. the, the conventional way that everybody is doing is going to be stress on your back, yeah. right? And it's going to be more difficult. So you've basically figured out how to use the ADEX mace and, and clubs in a way where you can do it off the floor and get build a stronger core yes. and get yourself toward better strength and mobility. Yeah, it has helped me personally. Me personally, I've lost 75 pounds so far. Congratulations. Uh, doing the ADEX and doing the core on the floor and then with the CrossFit, so. This is 75 pounds lost in two years? Uh, it's been about a year, maybe, year and a half. Unbelievable. That is, that's, that's uh, I mean, that's a lot of weight to lose, um, but it, you did it in a sensible amount of time, too. It doesn't sound like you did something crash diet no. kind of where it's going to uh, bounce back on you and, and come and you're going to put the weight back on. Yeah. So you, have you been changing your diet at all? As uh, well? Yeah, just not really trying to X out the carbs, eat uh, good carbs and everything, and just trying to eat uh, smaller meals. Okay. Uh, not any kind of crazy diets, just trying to eat, watch what I eat. Right, right. Yeah, so uh, so your core on the floor that you developed, you're, are you teaching it uh, exclusively at one particular gym, or are you getting it around uh, places? Right now, just doing it with Don mainly. I know he sent a few videos to different people to help different coaches okay. try to help the, their bigger guys work out. Yeah. Uh, does this type of workout help uh, any other segment of society, like um, people who are hurt, older people. Yeah, I have a friend that uh, he uses a walker, so I do clubs and stuff with him, and instead of doing it from a standing position, we go to a seating position, and then to a floor position, so like core on the floor and then core in a seat, Okay. because he can't really move on the floor that well yet. This is unbelievable. I mean, you really dialed in to something really special here, because you found a way to make fitness more accessible to people that otherwise might just blow it off and say, hey, look, it's too hard, I can't do that. Um, and I, I think that's, that's a commendable thing that you wanna try to teach that to other people. I mean, if it's changed your life that much and, and, and you've lost that much weight and you're starting to eat better and move better, yeah. uh, you know, whatever it is you're doing obviously works. And I mean, you have the, um, you have the time in where you've you've been practicing coaching people and everything like that. I mean, you do realize that it's just going to keep getting better and better. Yep. Yeah. So how does that make you feel inside? Like, the, the, do you feel like pumped that you you got like this cool thing going on and 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 you just feel like excited about it? Well, in the beginning, I was just trying to help myself, but I guess in the long run, I'm helping everybody else too. So yeah. it really feels good. Yeah, that is fantastic, man. So you, um, the other workouts that you're getting into now, do you, do, you, do you see yourself getting into powerlifting or anything like that in the future? Uh, well, I used to do judo back in the day when I was skinnier, so I want to eventually get back into judo more. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. And grappling, but right now just doing the ADEX mace and uh, mace training, core on the floor, and then uh, CrossFit. 
Nice. All right. So eventually I want to do a lot more things. Okay, great. And if somebody wants to train with you, uh, you're offering your services as a personal trainer? Yep. Okay. Well, just if you want to work out, just come work out. No problem. Okay. How do people get in touch with you? Uh, Instagram, Big Mike Was Up, or Facebook, Michael Marcus, or just come down to um, Barracuda CrossFit. Barracuda CrossFit in? Uh, Deerfield Beach. Deerfield Beach, Florida. Yep. And your Instagram is, say it again? Big Mike Was Up. How do you spell it? Uh, B-I-G-M-I-K-E-W-A-Z-Z-U-P. Okay, and Marcus, your last name is M-A-R... C-U-S. C-U-S. All right, that's awesome, man. Uh, I appreciate you coming on here and spending a little time talking in front of this awesome banner here. Uh, it makes it seem so official, right? Because it is. It is official. You know, we are officially on the road to creating this awesome community with Venice Strength Games and uh, it's, I mean, like, look, you got, again, I was just talking about Scott Wong earlier. He flew out from California, you know. I'm down here from New Jersey. Um, it's really cool. It's cool meeting people like you that are pumped up about life, that are looking to reach the next level and everything. And I can't wait to, you know, have you come back on the podcast in the future to give us an update about the things that you've been doing, have you been doing this core on the floor, the people that you've been helping. Keep us notified, keep us, you know, in, keep in touch and, and, and keep sharing stuff. Uh, I think you're on the way to really helping a lot of people. Thank you. All right, man, cool. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks, everybody.